Hi, this is Laura from Red Carpet Report. We're here in Hollywood at the series premiere of Cast Me on Mix TV. Hey, Jay. Congrats on the show. Thank you so much. So awesome. So, what, like, what made you guys decide as a team, like, okay, let's do this. Let's well, do a reality. You know, casting's a really, really crazy world, and every day in casting, we say things and we go, oh my God, if people actually heard us say that, or oh my God, if people knew this is what went on. And so it was like kind of this feeling that if we showed people what it's really like, the good, the bad and the ugly, that it could actually be entertaining because nobody has really gone behind the doors of closing, of, of casting because like American Idol is very produced. You know, it, like it's not real casting. You don't have the honest conversations. You know, that's in behind closed doors. Whereas we were just warts and all. This is what happens. This is what it's like. And it's crazy some days and, and not crazy other days. Speaking of crazy, this is Haman, my yeah. cast member. Hi, how are you doing? What I want to know from you guys is how does it feel to be on the other side of the camera? <laughs> well, what? we're both like really serious acting bitches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's different, but it's lovely. I mean, I love being on the other side and seeing like all the, the do's and don'ts that I get to, I don't know, I, I well, learn for myself, I guess. Well, we experience both sides because we're both uh, originally actors and then both moved into casting. So it's kind of this great world of, of knowing both the worlds. Yeah, and I like it. It makes me feel more knowledgeable. It makes me feel like I can help the actors a lot more and also have a better understanding what clients want. I don't know. I just, I, I love it. I feel quite comfortable on the other side, actually. I mean, it's funny, like, the difference between scripted and reality. I mean, I've got a long history in reality. I hosted Biggest Loser Australia. I originally shot a documentary called Larger Than Life, which is kind of in my journey of learning to love myself. And so, I know, it's like know, pointless. It's super windy. Um, but, you know, I guess as, for you as an actor, reality would be quite different. I mean, for me, it's like a normal life. It is different, but you know, I love it. I love all the new things in it and like all the surprises every day. It's like you never know really what's going to happen, especially okay. with this one on set. Well, I felt like I was constantly boot camping him. Like I was like, <laughs> yeah. okay, this is what happens in reality TV. You need to be real right now because like <laughs> he's like breaking up with his boyfriend. He's like, oh, and he's oh, trying shut to up. Oh, <laughs> and he's trying to hide. And I'm like, quick, get a camera. Quick, I know. I was crying. And she's like, cameras, cameras, running. come. Get and him like, crying. No! And I'm like, quick, I'm like, quick, let's film this. That was And I'm like, so tell me how you're feeling, come on. Like, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm ready to my boyfriend. This is great TV. Keep filming. I know. That was crazy. But we survived it and it was great and amazing. So. This is a reality show too. And like, you guys are dealing with real clients, real, real people trying to be cast. Is there real drama within the show that you feel like? Showcase? Oh, there's drama everywhere, <laughs> honey. Well, okay. He has a tattoo in somewhere in his skull here that says drama. Um, <laughs> birthmark. Out of camera, you have no idea. I mean, but it was certainly with the actors. You know, I mean, there were real jobs on the line, real jobs. So there were a bunch of people who either it was their first break or a series of breaks. Like we cast a SAG feature film, and you know, from booking smaller jobs to becoming the lead in a feature film, a SAG feature film, it, it's a career-defining moment. And we also cast a show, uh, a, a PC game, a live-action PC game called uh, Squadron 42 Star amazing. Citizen, and it's it's going to be one of the first PC games of its kind that has motion capture. It has Gillian Anderson, Mark Hamill, like a bunch of really, really incredibly well-seasoned actors in this, and we gave some unknown actor this amazing opportunity to fly yes, to England yes. and do motion capture with this PC game that will live forever. I mean that's a career defining yeah, moment. Yes. And it's amazing. And for all those highs, there's a million lows. A million lows for actors who didn't book the job or... or I'm sorry, there's so many things happening right now. I'm like, oh my God, what is going on? Yeah, but you know, it's heartbreak as well. Hollywood is filled with heartbreak. And for every actor that gets a job, there's a million actors who go home without ever having booked anything. And, and we dealt with that. You know, people who was sad this and devastating. It's really good because I'm usually the one that criticizes everything, but this one is like just good at keeping me, you know, like calm down and just being nice to everyone and understanding. I think so. You were nice to everyone? You, you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was sometimes, but you, you calm me down. Uh, only because I forced him to be. Like, and, and like he, he's like he, a razor sharp tongue and he doesn't care. And I get that because. If you're going to waste the director's time, you're not going to book a job anyway. So get some training, learn your lines, be prepared. Don't be an idiot in an audition. 
And he said it the way it was. I know. Some people just don't like it, but you know, it is fine. And I'm, I'm also very fair with people, so I don't feel so bad at the end of the day. Plus, yeah. these are real jobs, so. Yeah. The truth hurts unless he's being a bitch. <laughs> On that note, I'll see you. So, one more question though, because this, uh, this series is going to be on, uh, focus on for Asian Americans too as well, what advice do you have for any of them who are looking to get break into the industry, especially since it's, it's, it's slowly getting easier for them? Well, slowly. I mean, it's true, it's a great time for diversity in Hollywood. It really is. It, you know, we, we've had the opening up of the Academy, and I think that's a wonderful thing because there's so much more diversity. Yeah. Uh, and I think you'll see much more diversity in nominations and therefore much more diversity in scripting. You know, you've got Shonda Rhimes out there who's creating incredible and projects. And also, it's, it's about, I feel like it's also about preparation. You know, like, if, if, if any kind of, you know, Asian American, American, Hispanic, it's all about, like, you know, something to really start uh, uh, focusing on is preparing your Yourself, taking classes getting ready everybody's big here everybody's a big shark so oh, yeah and like also what I say to big girls I think the same thing applies to uh, you know Asian actors or black actors is if a role doesn't state ethnicity go for it don't wait for the Chinese actor or China you know like or uh, you know Japanese actor or Korean actor or, or fat girl role you know if it says mother if it says uh, uh, lawyer just go for it like question make them question themselves you know like give them an opportunity to see who you are and your acting chops and you might book a role that they may not have written for you that happens you get so in it i i love you i'm gonna go inside. thank you guys it's so uh, lovely you talking to you watch congrats it. watch it watch it okay ready thanks for watching please like subscribe and leave a comment on the bottom what you think about tonight